Hello collective, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess, you guys can call me Siren. We're going to get into today's timeless channel planetary message for the energies of um, the moon. Right, it's Monday, so happy moon day. And um, of course the moon is related to the heart chakra. So let's go ahead and channel the energies of the moon, see what's going on within our own heart center. Um, I'm also uh, hearing what we are reflecting out. So maybe we're close to a, f a full moon. But I, I get that there are certain things in your heart center that um, that are vibrating outside of yourself. And typically, of course, when that happens, that's actually a, a big indication that you're manifesting. So you're in the energy of manifesting because I see your org field is um, basically expanding. So there's a manifestation that is coming in. Y'all know we talked about this. You know, we talk about this all the time. Um, you put your vocal point, right? Those stars, those wishes out in the atmosphere. You put it out in ether and then your aura will expand to um, pick up those um, points of references and then bring them back to you so that it can manifest in the 3D. For some of y'all, um, this could be a child. Not everybody. Uh, it could be because... Um, Spirit babies, their energy is really, really, really strong when they're about to be conceived. It's like they're they're that little star, they're that little wish that's in the ether and um, you know, it's about to manifest in a 3D. So for some of y'all it's that um others of you, this is just certain things that you have been really wanting. So all right, some of you guys have been wanting to move or travel. Um, maybe a lot. I do see this something. Um this is yeah, this is something that Man, two things. Something you really have been manifesting and wanting for a real long time is coming in. And then also it's like today you open up your eyes and you have realized um, that in some way you have, you're actively living out a manifestation that you um, put out in the atmosphere already. I don't really know what, what happened and you just kind of realized this. Yeah, I'm looking at this card. Like, this is what I see with your aura. I just see a lot of like different... um. Because we know like even sound is sound vibration that's, I don't know. It, there's a, okay, I'm getting the word resonance. Because it's not a sound, like your heart chakra, obviously, right? But but it is though. It's like something we cannot pick up on. So I'm also getting something about dogs or animals. You know, like that silent whistle, same thing with the planets, right? Um, Saturn has its own sound. Jupiter has its own sound. Earth, Gaia has its own sound and resonance. You can actually look these up um, uh, here on YouTube if you want to ever go into meditation. Honestly, too, if you ever want to tap into more of the planetary bodies, um, yeah, you could definitely look up like the frequency for, say, like the moon, Earth, whatever. And then um, maybe if you want to connect to planetary bodies that way, it'll help you a little bit more. But um. Yeah, moving, traveling, and then it's like, again, you wake up and you realize that you are actively living um, <laughs> in, in something that you've manifested. So let me get some more cards here, y'all. I am so, so sorry for my absence, like for real. I know, but <laughs> um, we're back. So, so sorry for the absence. Whew. We were finishing out some big cycles, so um, I feel like you might have been as well. Huge cycles, man. Big, big, big cycles. Um, you know, and it's all love. It's all love. But we are back at it, going full throttle, y'all. Oh my goodness, I got so distracted. Um, I represent an entire generation. You do, yeah. Also, too, y'all. I may do a. I think I am gonna do. <laughs> I know for sure I'm gonna do a love reading. There's a lot of plot twists happening. It's always around this time. Only a few of you guys uh have me on Facebook. So those of you know, but um, long story short, um, me and Chanel's father, we cool. <laughs> so um, I guess we're like uh, back together in a way. So there could be reconciliation for not for everybody. You do not have to go back to your ex. Do not, do not, do not come for me. Okay, it. <laughs> If it's F your ex, then I'm with you. I stand on whatever side you stand on. But, you know, your heart, though. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, y'all. Sometimes we always say, you know what? 
God, if I'm confused, if my mind is so confused about what I want, if I don't know, then please listen to my heart and my heart's desires and allow my heart to guide me. And I feel like that's what's happening. So even if it is certain things, because it, it could be, again, whatever it is, moving, traveling, whatever, um, a certain plan that you have for yourself or a certain um, walk of life or calling that could be coming to you or coming back to you. And maybe you kind of look at it. You're like, what? Like, what the heck? And I need you to really sit and go into meditation and like, uh, just really sit with yourself or sit with your, um, your spirit team, God, the most high. Right. Whoever you choose to honor and really try to listen to your own heart, because again, there could be something coming to you and, it's like mentally, you're like, no, I don't want this. I don't know. Maybe you feel like you shouldn't want it. But your heart has been guiding you. It's been your, your heart. Your heart is bringing something towards you. Okay. Have I want to spoil you? Wow. You have a lot. I'm locked in. <laughs> Out of this world, beauty, you're gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous. And glow up. So you'll have a glow up even more so. Um, especially if it's anything that was... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> what the heck? Especially if it was anything that, like, um, drained you of your energy. When you're drained, when you're being depleted, when you're not being poured into, it is so hard for you to just even, like... Take care of yourself. And it's not even, it's not the fact that um you should expect other people to pour into you and all this other stuff. It's not that. It's one of those things where it's like, if you're actively pouring into yourself, <laughs> um, cause yeah, cause you could just pour into yourself and that'll be enough to make sure that you, you keep that glow. You are on top of yourself, right? You Right. But if you try to pour into yourself and then somebody's actively like taking from the cup, you keep pouring in, they're taking, pouring in, taking. It's like you never get the fuel that you need because it's being taken from you. Um, and it might be the same people that, um, I don't know, um, even mention things about where you where you are at or your current position or what you currently look like or whatever the fuck. But one thing about it, one thing I know about mine, my people, my viewers, you're never going to stay at one spot. You're never, listen, <laughs> you're never just going to be in one spot for too long. You're not. Even if you got to go back and reload to, to shoot forward um, even farther. That's what will happen. But yeah, no, you're never going to stay in one spot for too long. Um, so, you know, one thing I wish that I did kind of bring over here, because again, a lot has been happening like on my Facebook for like the whole week, clearing out cycles and stuff like that. Um, you know, went through things with my own family, my daughter, my child's father, and then, um, uh, basically got situated with certain people that, you know, I thought were for, for me, but no, actually not, not at all. Um, maybe even worse, but it makes you appreciate what you have. But I say that because like something I've been making clear on my Facebook lately is that you are one of them ones. Y'all <laughs> I'm going to start making some products because y'all, I want y'all to know this. You are one of them ones. If it's ever anybody, and I say this to y'all, all the time i've always said this so if it's an a, a, if it's a cross watcher that don't like me i have always said this it's no shade i've always said this to my viewers men and women you don't have a reason to be insecure about the next person you don't have a reason for if you feel like a man is trying to put you up against another beautiful woman if a woman's trying to put you up against another man anything you have no reason to be insecure. Even if they put you up against somebody and shit, that nigga fine as fuck. Or that's a bad bitch, right? Because you know over here, it's big bosses and bad bitches. I got to put that on the shirt too. Big bosses, bad bitches. And you got to be one of them ones. And you, you, you one of them ones. But here's the thing. 
And, and this is what, this is actually what I said to men. So if it's any divine masculines, this is what I said to men. And excuse my, um, I don't know, the St. Louis in me, but if you that nigga, you just that nigga. But that nigga, not just one person. It's many of you that are like that. You have no reason to be insecure. Know that if anybody's ever trying to put anything up against anything, trying to do any of that, you are one of the ones. You look at that next person and say, yeah, yeah, they, they are one. Yeah, they one of the ones. Yeah, that's not taken away from me, though. But yeah, for sure, they bad. For sure, they this. For sure, they that. And understand that's the inside too. But we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is somebody who has a lot of energies, someone who is independent, someone who is, is, you know, obviously the Queen of Wands is someone who's attractive, someone who um takes care of business, you know. They you know, the Queen of Wands turns heads, and it's many different ways to do this. You can be in a room or you can be uh I I've just said this so many times. You could even be next to someone who's considered maybe a more conventionally attractive man or woman. And you might turn more heads than them because your energy and it's something about your heart. And I'm telling you right now because I'm in the energy of the moon channeling and I see and feel these vibrations, these vibrations, it's your heart. And when you walk past people, just walk past, they, they feel that, they feel you. We're moving into a time, especially, you know, us that are maturing, getting older, but we're moving into a time where it's like you understand that it's that inside too. Yeah, the two of wands. So I'm also getting two, you're manifesting um, the, yeah, ooh, yeah, baby. A queen of wands or an empress? Hmm. All queens? You're not just, um, you know, baddie, baddie, shot o'clock. You know, that's cool. But you have knowledge, you have wisdom, you have love, you have sincerity. To any men, yeah. You have more than that. You got more than your looks. You have honesty. You have respect. You have your word. You have your humor. That genuine nature about yourself. You have it all. And just wait, because you're going to glow up even more. Just wait. Again, no shade, no shade, no nothing, no trying to, um, uh, yeah, the King of Swords, uh, protect my, none of that. This is, a lot of you guys are going through this. A lot of you guys, uh, even like DM me privately. And it's crazy because a lot of us are going through the same situations, gang stalking, this and that. Um, you know, it's Libra season too. So I feel like also like. A lot of, I feel like Libras do get misunderstood a lot. Y'all know Queen Nigel, she's a Libra. She always gets misunderstood. Um, why? Because Libra is that sign of relationship. It's a sign of like relatability. So unfortunately, and a, a lot of, again, a lot of Libras are like this. It's like um, over explaining or um, keep coming back. You said this and then, okay, well, let me come back and also say this. And let me come back and also say that. Well, let me come. Why do you do that? Why do you keep trying to prove yourself? Because when you have a, a Libra energy in you, it's like no matter what you say, don't get me wrong, it's good to relate to people. But just like I said, we're Libra with the skills. Sometimes too much of a good thing is bad. It's good that, you know, you could speak and you could be a public figure and people can relate to what you're saying. But it gets to a point where sometimes anything that you say, people are trying to find relatability in it. So people think when you speak, you're attacking them personally. Oh, they're talking about me. They're doing this to me. They're doing it to no. It's just you find relatability in that. But I'm not. I'm. It's not. It's not about you though. It's 
It's like you could say, um, I don't know. So maybe that's who you just, yeah, the Queen of Swords, uh, uh, working on what you say or how you say or something. Oops. But yeah, sometimes people trying to find relatability in everything you're saying, it'd be a lot. Oh, so the strength card, Leo. So uh, this is also what I thought about it too, though. It's just, it takes a level of confidence. And this is something I learned even with myself, I'll be honest. Um, even old friendships were maybe... I'll, I'll own up to, huh, maybe they were just saying that and they were not even talking about me, but I took it that way. Why did I take it that way? Because the opposite of this Leo energy, this confidence, I was insecure. So when they said that, I thought they were talking about me. You got to be, so maybe this is, I feel like you surround yourself with people that you know their heart, right? Because even though um, Leo and the fifth house is, is associated with the solar plexus, it's still like the heart, right? The heart of the lion, a lion's heart, right? You you want to surround, your surround yourself with people where you know their heart. Y'all know I always say this about Leo energy, Fifth house energy is <laughs> confidence on like a whole nother level to where, and it should be like this. If you're around friends, you need to be around friends and family where, again, you are so locked in and know their heart that if they say something, you know, oh, I know they're not talking about me. And we talked about before how, like, uh, even in my past, you know, people could think, or, or in your past too, people could think, um, oh my gosh, they're so dumb. I'm talking about them. I just did this to them and they're so dumb because they didn't pick up on it. No, I'm I'm supposed to be your friend or family. So I completely let my guards down to be vulnerable vulnerable around you. So when you're saying certain things, no, I'm I'm in my head, it's like, oh no, ain't no way they talk about me. Because we friends. So why would you ever be talking about me? Why would I think that? But they take it as, oh wow, you're stupid because I was making fun of you and uh, you didn't catch on to it. No, I just, so then what the opposite, what happens is, um, you say things and then they think that you're attacking them personally. And you're like, well, why do you think that? You should know that I would never be talking about you. You should allow me to speak freely because you should be confident enough to know, oh no, I know they ain't talking about me. But nine times out of 10, these people think that you're talking about them because they're talking about you. They think that you're throwing hidden shots at them because that's what they do to you consistently. But you don't pick up on it because you're just confident. <laughs> Again, Leo's, that, that fifth house Leo energy is so funny to me. It's just like. It's just, man, that's a different, I don't know. It's a different level of confidence. Like, it's just. But, you know, even farther from the fifth house, the, the 11th house, Aquarius, right? That Aquarian energy, that God, right? Moving from um, having a big ego, but then having a God complex, right? We know that's Aquarian. Yeah, that's how confident you're like, no, I know. Not the queen of wands with the fire energy for Leo. Sorry, y'all, my neighbor's child is very upset right now. Um, It's like, no, Aquarius, air energy. You're like, no, I know. I know they're not talking about me. And if you have been around certain people where they they have been throwing shots and you find out, oh, no, you are talking about me. You know, you got to get away from that because it messes with your intuition. It messes with your gut feeling because you're like, no, I know they're not talking about me. But the whole time they are. So then it, it makes you like not able to trust yourself because you're like, no, I, I know, I knew they was for me. I knew they was, um, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was my friend, but you know, like, damn. So what do I know now? But I feel like underneath it all, you, um, you still probably kind of knew. Again, this is no shade. It's so many people going through this right now. Um, somebody, the other day, somebody said, uh, uh, I'm like Cardi B with the receipts. Speaking of Cardi B, yeah, she's a Libra. <laughs> yeah, judgment. I'm like, yeah, because I have the receipts. They're theirs. But why do I have to do that? You're just going to have to know my heart and trust me. It's not about, right? This is just every, look, the three of swords, everybody. So, so, so this is why I say that. This is why I say that, um. 
Like trust is so important. Cause I guess if somebody breaks your heart, yeah, you don't you don't trust that are you talking about me? Are you doing this? Are you gonna do me wrong? Are you? I don't know because you broke my heart. And maybe this is a situation with a, a past person, friend, love. Yeah, the Six of Cups, I swear. The past. The Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. So it's like you um, you heal the situation. Maybe, if it can be. Again, don't attack me. You do not have to go back to your ex. <laughs> do not shoot the messenger, y'all. <laughs> but um, do not shoot the messenger. <laughs> I know how y'all get. Y'all do not be wanting to go back to the past so much that y'all be getting triggered when I, I know. Look, y'all like, no, siren, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but open your heart. Think about what broke the, the trust or think about, you know, what that is, but... Yeah. But I know your heart is so big. Your heart is big. Um, and it's just always expanding. You're like really not. Yeah, I don't know, because people are definitely very spiteful with the Five of Swords. And it, that's just always just so weird to me. I don't know. Um, when it's undeserving, it's just kind of like, I don't know. But, so you, the Nine of Cups, so wish fulfillment. So you get the wish, whatever's out there. Um, in the ethers, two things. I'm also getting two. Um, you like with right with the Emperor Aries energy, the first house. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You get something first because uh, other people leave. It's almost like um, I don't know. You're at a store in a long line, and it isn't that such a contradiction how. You have like a bunch of people in a line and because the line is so full, everybody leaves. But it's like now everybody's gone. So, dang, I don't know. <laughs> everybody left at once. I don't know. Everybody left. Or everybody left you on your own or something. And um, yeah, so now you're first. I don't know. It was meant to happen exactly the way that it did, though. Uh, everybody left the line or something like that. So then you, you just kept being moved up and up and up and up and up. And, and now you're first. And now you don't have to wait. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back, um, like, working, though, for real. Um, I'm going to be more active on Instagram. I was going through my following, and I was like, dang, like, it really is big bosses and bad bitches. Like, I was just going through my following, looking at some of y'all, like, looking at uh, a lot of the people that I'm connected with, and it's like, whoa, wow, it's really some amazing people really some stars like whoa so again maybe you wake up to like who you are you wake up like whoa I'm living my manifestation and like like wow this is who I am how do you forget how did you forget or something or maybe other people wake up and realize who you are but I don't I don't know it's like it's too late yeah the ten of swords wow and the death card okay um of course not that, okay, not, it's just an ending, but like, 
um, you know, I think it's a permanent ending. But it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting like, I don't know, um... I don't, it's like, again, it's a bunch of people in the line. Maybe the store closes in five minutes and it's a bunch of people in the line and they're like, forget it, I'm going to leave. So now you're first. Now the people turn around and, and look and see, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of space now and they want to come back, but the store is closing now. So I don't know, something's just for you. Yeah. And, and that's why it's a permanent ending. It's like, but no, this is closed now. So before, maybe you were just going to have to wait. But now it's, it's just, it's closed. You get a chariot. Wow. And then justice card at the bottom of the deck. So this is justice. And you move forward. <laughs> I guess um, you're not moving forward alone, though. Either you are in this uh, spiritual union with somebody that you really love, really loves and respects you. You guys are going to grow together, heal. Um, but I feel like y'all also got other people on this ship. You know who's on your ship. You know the certain people. You know their hearts, most importantly. And that's who you're going to move forward with. Um, yeah, the chariot. Again, this is cancer energy. So cancer is ruled by the moon. Happy moon day. Um Yeah, you're moving forward. What I say, what I say on my uh my uh on my Instagram that will poem. My coven is different because it's filled with big bosses and bad bitches. Surrounded by stars, so I need them on my ceiling. If you throw shots this way, we gonna make you feel it. Hell yeah. <laughs> My coven is different because it's filled with big bosses and bad bitches. Yeah, I'm surrounded by stars, so I need them on my ceiling. If you throw shots this way, we're going to make you feel it. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to get that. You're going to get it on your ceiling. I don't know. You have, again, a lot of wishes or a lot of stars or something like this. Um, all come, or I'm also getting you seeing, is it too late to, where do you live? My bad, y'all. Where you live? I'm seeing like, uh, fireflies, but fireflies also give me the energy of like, um, ancestors, but I'm seeing green lights. So green light go. I feel like you were stopped for a long time, but I feel like you were, you were, again, you were stopped or halted, uh, again, like this red, you were at a stoplight, you were stopped and halted because something was so long and then it just... Everybody leaves and then you move forward, but I don't know. But yeah, you're undergoing a glow up and you're getting, um, there's some manifestations that are coming in very quickly. I'm getting, um, as, as soon as a, um, as soon as two weeks. Yeah. And you're moving with your heart and your heart has been, man, calling out for something for so long. And, and it's finally something with the resonance has changed. And now this energy is allowed to come in. Again, maybe you kicked somebody or somebody got kicked out of um, Eden, <clears throat> the Garden of Eden. But there's not one Garden of Eden. There's not one bad bitch. There's not one boss nigga. There's not one Archangel Michael, but we're not going to get into the deep stuff. Right. It's not one. Wow, I'm hearing this song. Maybe I'll talk about that in a different video because I don't really remember the lyrics right now but it's about three it's a band three days grace so whoa first of all something's gonna come in as soon as three days or something about you get a three-day grace period or something like this but i'm hearing a uh, one x 
three days by uh, three days grace. I'm gonna have to like, but I know, um, hold on. I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I said that anyways um <laughs> some of y'all gonna have a good night but anyways uh because i ha actually have this physical album so if you see it's like all these and then like one x so huh, one x that's the 12th song on the album wow i love that i did actually buy certain albums like well i love that uh You're so different though too, or whatever. And let me tell you something, you you can never be X'd out. How can you be X'd out if you're already in? That's another thing that's happening to a lot of us, Um, trying to be X'd out. But basically the black sheep, you're X'd out, you're not wanted, you don't belong here. Um, you're like, okay. Not knowing you do have a home or you do have, yeah, you have support, you know. You're not alone. <laughs> You're not alone. So, I don't know. You allow you allow yourself to be X'd out because you know <laughs> that that's not what it is. Again, how can you be X'd out if you're already in? But I don't know. Um, wish people the best of luck moving forward. Pretty much. You have power. You have a lot of power. It may not look like it or something or right now, but no, you're <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, you have a firm foundation. You have a, 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 a solid foundation, a firm foundation. Again, um, the Emperor Aries energy, the first house, is related to the first chakra, right? Tomorrow will be Mars Day. That's all about our roots, our home, fear, anxiety, stress, things like that. Maybe somebody wanted you to feel like you don't have anybody, you don't have anything, you don't have any roots. I don't know, you don't have a dad, you ain't got shit, you ain't got nothing. Um, you have no roots, nothing. You have no one to go back to, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, that's not true, though. <laughs> If like you just kind of kick it alone or something. No, but that's not true. That's a facade. Again, this is a lot of people going through this. Um, she might even just move back home or something. Or you just, uh, or you're with these people re rejoicing, celebration, or um, I don't know. But you're, you have a, a, um, a solid foundation. You have a, a, or uh, I don't want to say platform. You have a, um, I guess foundation is the right word, y'all. Fuck it. <laughs> um, I guess foundation is just the right word. But you have solid footing. You definitely do. Oh, you have the loving man. Yeah. Yeah, somebody wanted you to feel like this. Again, the root chakra is associated with fear and anxiety, stress, and unbelonging. They want you to feel like this. Oh, look at you. You're all alone by yourself, and we're over here. And, and then you have this great achievement, milestone. Like, you have, like, it's not, it's, that's not, that's not, yeah, travel again. You could just be moving, or but that's not, you have professional assistance everywhere. 
And if you feel like you ain't got nobody, you know you got me. <laughs> and I'm that professional assistance too. So I feel like, again, your boat moves forward. And um, yeah, I don't know, y'all. But, you know, you're good, though. And again, let's just move to an energy where we're not spiteful. We're wishing people the best. We are doing all this stuff. Um, because it's just, it is what it is. And y'all, all of these are events at the top of these cards. Now, this is, an, this is, oh, wow. So this is a people. This is people, the loving man. So we actually see a person, people. Because um, some of these cards, this energy, wow. So a uh, cycle at the top of this one, transformation, leaving a cycle, your consciousness, is happiness oh um, people family you could be growing a family again that could be a spirit baby but yeah you have a uh, three events coming up one of them is travel one of them is some type of um like a uh, achievement like passing the test or passing something and the other one is like a milestone so a milestone is just like a basically of course um surpassing a step that you already so i feel like the milestone is the glow up <laughs> just wait on it <laughs> but three three events coming up and a lot of people a lot of support so i love that for you you know that i'm here for you i love you guys if you feel like this message resonated on a deeper level and you want a more insight regarding your own personal situation, then be sure to click the link in the description box to book a personal session with me. Um, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.